Right, we're going to start this up, so everyone's welcome to come and sit down. Don't be shy. Come and take a seat. Um, if people are wondering what we're doing here, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. We're just getting the conversation going. We're trying to find out about, you know, what, peop what people are thinking, what they want, what the future is here in Brent. Um, it's all related to this idea that Brent could be the London borough of culture, whatever that means. And that I think one of the issues that's out there to begin with is no one really knows what that means. So uh, in a way, it's up to us to define it, to decide. So anyway, my name's Mikey. Let's see, we've got some... Uh, Early participants on the, on the table. So, what's your name? My name is Jamal. And Harry. Harry, welcome. Um, anyone else want to come and have a seat on the table of chat? Cut. The best way to bring people is to is to bring yourself first and lead by example. I would say. Um, come and have a seat. Come and get involved. Uh, okay, so, Jamal, okay, we've got, yes, we've got some, yay, welcome, welcome, what's your name? Indira. Indira. Um, so, and are we going to, anyone else want to come, obviously you can come and go as you please, it's up to you, um, we haven't really started yet, and the, the way that Tokyoki works is kind of up to you, we had someone over here who suggested talking about Egypt, and that, come and have, come and have a seat. Come sit down. Come get involved. We can we can start. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's kind of up to you. So we've got Indira, we've got Hara, Harry, and we've got Jamal. And what's your name? Tina. Tina, welcome. I'm, I'm Mikey. So where we're gonna what we're gonna start with? Do we, should we start with Egypt? No, no, I was joking. I was joking. You don't. You want to start I was with joking, Egypt? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what should we start with? I mean, Best do we want to? Festivals. You want to talk, what do you want to say about festivals? Uh, Eid and yeah. uh, Diwali and things like that. Yeah. Um, they're quite uh, large in this area anyway. Yeah. Um, a lot of the population is quite yeah. diverse, so a lot yeah. of these festivals are taken part in in the area. Yeah. Um, Eid is celebrated by visiting family, eating food, yeah. uh, doing this, and yeah. Diwali's festival of light, so fireworks, things go off, it's quite pretty. Um, yeah. A lot of things happen during that kind of time, so yeah. Okay, so is this the answer to culture in this area? Festivals, the different religious festivals. We've got Eid, we've got Diwali. Come and sit down, come and have a, come and have a seat. Sit down, come and get involved. You can do it. Um, is that the way to just to is that what is good about? The thing is, Brent is good about multicultural society, isn't it? Yeah. We got the highest uh, different. Yeah cultures, uh, people living in this uh, yeah. brand basically. I would say brand only in a sense. So that's its yeah. strength, is the multiculturalism. Yeah, we got more. But I mean, is that the answer? Is it multicultural to celebrate Eid and Diwali and Christmas? Or is it... Not only that, I think languages, isn't it? How many languages can be spoken in Brent? Yeah. Uh, maybe. There's a few um, hundred languages in Brent. Uh, well, not a few hundred, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But uh, maybe peace between yeah. everyone, that yeah. uh, all so different types of people. So we can celebrate the peace. Come and have a seat, come and get involved in this. We've got Tina, we've got Jamal, we've got Harry, we've got Indira. What's your name? Nassim. What is it? Hamdi. Hamzi. Hamdi, Hamdi. Hamdi. H-A-M-D-I. Hamdi, sorry. And... Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. So, I mean, at the moment, we're just warming this up. So the idea at the moment is... What do we actually celebrate in Brent? Is it the diversity? Is the multi multiculturalism what we want to celebrate? And how do we do it? Is it simply to boost up these festivals such as Diwali or Eid? Um, or is it, I've got, so I've got some more new faces. Um, so that's the come and sit down. Come and get involved in this. Come on, come on. You can bring your chairs if, you, if we've run out of chairs. We can bring more chairs. Um, so, let's do this, so we've got Jamal, Harry, what's your name? My name's Lorraine. Lorraine, and Indira, and Hamdi, and Sophia, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Young Weezy. 
You can be wherever you want to be. Thank you. What is it? Young Weezy. Young Weezy. Thank you. And Caleb. 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 Okay. And Capo. What's it? Capo. Capo. Okay. So. Um, so I mean, what? To what do people think about? Is this the way ahead to, to boost up the? F to, it's a kind of opening thing from Jamal, but is that the way? To, is that what we really want to celebrate in terms of what Brent is? I think I think yeah. in Brent, um, everyone knows everyone. I'm yeah. not I'm not from Brent. I'm yeah. from Barnet, but yeah. I spent most of my time in Brent. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying anything's bad about Brent, but it's just everyone knows everyone, and yeah. like the word goes around quickly. Yeah. I mean, you've got the outside of you of Brent, so in a way, yeah. you can sort of see it from a bit further away. And, and what does Brent to you from it from that distance? And so is that a good thing that everyone knows everyone? Yeah, because like. You're just walking on the streets and everyone's yeah. saying hi to each other. Yeah. They're not like uh, avoiding yeah. each other. In, in Bonn, it's not like that. Yeah. People know each other, but they're not as friendly. They're a bit keeping themselves... Is it a particularly friendly place? And, is, and how... The yeah. next question is, how do you actually celebrate that then? I think that for years, um, mm. Brent has had a bad rep. Yeah. A bad rap in, in, a, in the media. Yeah. Um, just like hearsay, based yeah. basically on what um, people think happens in Brent. I mean, I'm not a resident of Brent, but I've worked yeah. in the borough across a number of years, and I think that... And when, like, when you say you work yeah. in Brent, what do people from outside of Brent say? You're brave, like that yeah. kind of, you know, yeah. you're brave. But it's not, it's not that deep, as the students would say. It's not as bad as yeah. people make out. And like and um, the students, sorry, I don't know your name, what Tina was saying is that it is friendly and that... It, is, it isn't hostile, it isn't yeah. a no-go zone, it yeah. really is a friendly place and once you immerse yourself in the culture of Brent, in yeah. the area, you can make some really good long-term friendships yeah. um, and positive friendships. Okay, so what, what do people want to take out of that? Do they want to take out the reputation of Brent? Is that something that needs to be worked on or is it? It already is, really. Yeah. It's already being changed. I mean, you yeah. look at Wembley and it's like yeah. totally yeah, different absolutely. to what it was 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah. And it yeah. will be in 10 years' time as well. Yeah. It's being totally changed. So you think that's happening already in yeah. a way? I mean, all right, so do, I mean, is that reputation going to, do people agree with that? Is it going to change? Is it bad or is it already improved? Um, yeah? It's been improved. Yeah. A lot, actually, as you, as you said, uh, near the family stand, stadium. Yeah. Uh, Accommodation-wise as well, totally. they're building so many flats and yeah. all this. I think and it's that, a and that's a good thing. Kind of flats? positive sign. Yes, definitely yeah. regeneration yeah. happening in the area. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if that's the case, if it's a positive story, I mean, how do we actually like sell this? Because I mean, we should bring in Steph. So I mean. Can you explain, you know, like what a little bit about what we're doing here and, and why are we trying to get ideas from people? Yeah, so basically, um, at the moment, there's a massive competition yeah. going on all over yeah. London, uh, which is delivered by the Mayor's Office for London boroughs to bid to be the London Borough of Culture in either 2019 or 2020. Um, so basically, for the winning boroughs, there's um, over a million pounds worth of funding for creative right. and cultural programming and activities yeah. happening in that year. And the idea is that it has a lasting legacy. So kind of what we'd really love to find out is kind of, I suppose, what people think about culture and creativity in Brent, what that means to you, what creative activities do you do, where do you go, what do you like about Brent. Also, you know, are there parts of Brent that you think could use some love, could use some investment, and what would you like to see happen? If you had a million pounds to spend in Brent on culture and creativity, how would you want to see it spent? Okay. That's a lot of questions, but we are here all day, so uh, that's good. But we do one at a time. I think. I mean, what, what are people, what's the most interesting one there? What are people... Um, I mean, if you compare uh, the two like sets of peace between here and in other countries, in some countries you would never see a Muslim family mix with people right. who are Hindu and stuff. Yeah. But in this area, everyone lives together anyway, yeah. and they do it peacefully, and they talk to each other, they're all friends. Like Even different sects of Islam, Pakistani Muslims, yeah. uh, English Muslims, uh, from people from the UAE, Arabian ones, uh, they wouldn't really talk as people who would talk together all the time. Right. But over here... People don't seem yeah. to have a choice. So is it a kind of... They yeah. tend to just yeah. hang around each other anyway, and they don't mind, um, which is great. And I think they teach that in colleges, schools, all the time, and it helps the area a lot. 
and um, yeah, well, it, it makes it a nicer place to just live in, and it makes you feel a bit more safe knowing that no one's going to attack you for your race, uh, yeah. religion. So there's like a that. sort of safety and security. There's a kind of globalism, like a world peace thing going on. Um, do people agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you agree, Sophia? Yeah, I agree. I mean, is that is that something that we that we should be exporting out of Brent as a sort of, um, you know, as a kind of, uh, you know, you were saying Jamal that it's quite, um, you know, it's it's not happening all over the world. This question of uh, of peace, people living together, is that something that could be exported somehow? As as something to s that Brent's got that other places haven't got, and if so, how? I think um, yeah. if like bad stuff happen in mm. Brent, mm. Um, I think it like pulls people together. Yeah. Like they'll unite as one yeah. to try and fix these problems and try and improve yeah. things so that it doesn't actually happen in the future. Yeah. So I feel like even though bad things do happen, yeah. it's still like a good thing still comes out of it's it. It's reacted in a positive way. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do other people think? Is this the thing that it's, I mean, you know, as I said, we're here all day, so we can, you know, look at other ideas. But at the moment, this idea of a kind of unity, of a harmony between people from all around the world seems to be the sort of main theme. Is that how people see Brent? And if so, is it something that could somehow be made bigger that the rest of London or the rest of the world could look in on, zoom in on how it's working in Brent? And what is the secret to the Brent? Is it just the fact that Jamal said people have to live together or is there more to it than that? I think that there's, whereas in some areas in London there's a lot of movement, I think that there's a lot of families here, yeah. for example from the Caribbean, who generation upon generation, you know, yeah. one generation will die out but then the, the other generation remain in yeah. the area. There's not a lot of movement in some pockets of Brent. I'm not saying that goes across the whole yeah. borough, but there are a lot of families who've lived in the area since they came over from, you know, in the Windrush yeah. in the 50s, for example. So there's a chance for a real community to grow and establish itself over multiple generations? Yes, yes. Okay. Do people agree with that? Do they? Have, have everyone's family's been here for a long time, or have they arrived recently? Let's get some. Let's get some input. Yeah. Uh, family came over like 50 years ago. Right. Um, and they've been here ever since. Yeah. And we've all lived in Harrow, and some of my family actually do live in Brent, but most of us live in Harrow. Do you agree with Lorraine about this thing about this, the actual time spent? there the actually makes a difference um yeah i mean after a while everyone gets to know each other yeah. and then you know each other's family people become friends and it slowly spreads out as what a group. about those new people coming into the area do i mean most people are just used to people moving around it's housing it yeah. happens all over so yeah the more you move the more you yeah. get used to it and the more people you see and the more the more social you become with yeah. other people so it's not really a bad thing people moving but it's not always a great thing either okay so i guess you've got a bit of both to migrant, uh, you can see it's most yeah. of in Brent, uh, Brent as well, so they kind of get used to it there. Yeah, so it's, um, it's always got new people yeah, moving in, but it's also got the old people that are staying stay, there as yeah, well. Yeah, that's I mean, what do you think the, the secret is to this kind of um, global harmony that seems to be happening in... I think, isn't it, community, uh, commu all commu yeah. community itself, isn't it? They get together and... Yeah. Is that it's community spirit, I would say. So, I'd like to know, kind of, I suppose, what what are the, the things that help to support that? So, when there's new communities in Brent, is it having kind of food shops that have, you know, the, the sort of ingredients that they can make food that connects them to back home? Is it clothes shops? Because I look around, you know, the different town centres all over Brent, and there's such a sort of huge diversity of different types of shops and different sorry. types of places. Give us a final thought before you go. Give us a final thought. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. What I mean, what do you think? What's going to be the secret to selling Brent to the rest of London? Just, just mm -hmm. What do you think the secret is? What What do you think the the one kind of crucial secret about what about Brent and and Brent, you know, selling Brent to the to the rest of London? Not wanting to put you on the spot, but I mean, what you know, what have you heard so far that you think is a is a um, you should ask him as well. Okay, go, let's go find him. 
the, your, yeah, the secret is to ask um, Young Rizzy. Uh, <laughs> you know, gang gang. <laughs> what I'm saying is, brand new, uh, it's a good place, okay? Yeah. For, for a guy like me that yeah. likes sports, yeah. there's different venues to yeah. go play uh, basketball, yeah. football, yeah. and. That means that anytime you want to go play sport, you can't just go outside in a cold. There's a, like a big uh, yeah. sports center you can go yeah. and then, you know, play, come back and then yeah. go home without getting, getting a cold or anything yeah. else. So it's, there's a lot of sporting activities going on. Mm -hmm. And I guess, is that also a place where people can, you know, different people can mix together? Yeah, well? you, can, you can go with your friends, your family, just have a, like a big sport competition. Yeah. You know, just celebrate or do anything you want. Okay, so there's so, so much to do. Thanks, thanks guys. I mean, um, yeah. I elaborate on the sport. Yeah. So basically, yeah. right, yeah. I think what uh, you were saying about um, how we're going to get given, like you're going to get yeah. given a million pound and what you can do with it to support Brent. So, um, a big part of Brent to me is the youth. So there's a lot of youth in Brent and um, Basketball yeah. is played most, yeah. and obviously, as our college, we have Wilson Sports Centre to yeah. um, train in and do competitions. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm not gonna lie, our like basketball team is not doing amazing right no. now. Yeah. So I was thinking to support that, we can get like more training in yeah. or like uh, more professionals or yeah. like to help them so that people will understand. Oh, look. These these kids they're amazing at football. Like, oh, we should go join them. So it will also bring people together yeah. from like all around Brent. So the sporting excellence could actually bring more people in and actually get. You, yeah. It's our future. They yeah. are they, yeah. they are our future. So I think we need to look yeah. after them. I would say. Look after the youngsters. Youngsters, so as well mean? as elderly as well. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. The very fact that we've got a huge stadium. Wembley Stadium yeah. that will bring young and old yeah. to the you know to the area it is something in itself and it's got a, a huge history attached to Wembley yeah. Stadium it's not just you know yeah. after the refurb after you know the regeneration it's been around for years and you've got granddads and grandmas that can tell their grandchildren about what it used to be yeah. like and you know the opportunity to bring whole families together but do they know they're coming to Brent when they go to Wembley Stadium are they connecting Wembley with Brent because we were next to Wembley Stadium on Saturday having this same conversation mm. and there were people there who were like Brent where's that and they were actually in the middle of Brent next to the Civic Centre but because they'd come for Wembley Stadium they didn't know anything about people really associate things with things with landmarks and things so yeah I mean if we had if we spent that money on say a landmark uh, and said, this is the Brent, this is, I don't know, the Brent Tower, Brent Statue, whatever, yeah. um, so on and so forth, you could say that, like, this is, uh, this, this is our area, look at yeah. this, we're amazing. So, actually, it needs a bit more branding, in a way, so that you've got that big arch, but is that branded with the area, with the more local area? Maybe you could have a, yeah. Yeah, you could have some other kind of statue, or, what I should say is, at some point, Rick is going to try and visualise some of these ideas, that's Rick behind the screens there. Um... <laughs> He is there, yeah, he's there. Um, and uh, he's going to try it. So maybe we could want that, maybe a starter that we could do is visualise a kind of statue or some kind of big landmark. And what would that be? Obviously, you've got Wembley, but what would be more local? What would somehow represent this kind of harmony? Uh, you, know, you know when you're in London. Yeah. You know when you're in Harrow. You have Harrow Hill, Harrow School, the big yeah. church at the top. You know when you're in Harrow. You even know when you're in Sudbury because yeah. it's Sudbury Hill. You know, it's got yeah. Horsenden Hill next to yeah. it. You know when you're in Wembley, Wembley Stadium. But do you really know when you're in Brent? To be honest, do you, okay. do you do you really know when you enter yeah. Brent? Not really. Yeah. yeah. Do you know when? Do you know when you're walking into? You need to have like some kind of. You are entering Brent. You know, welcome to Brent. There's nothing there like that. Um, come, there's some spare seats at the table. Come and get involved in this. We want your ideas. We want your thoughts. We want you to contribute to the flow. For sure, we want you to listen, but we also want you to, you know, to. to or give it. Or give us a final thought. Lorraine, um, I totally agree with Jamal. Let's really get Brent on the map. Let's use Wembley Stadium. Yes, let's use the celebrities who go to Wembley. You know, the high-profile sports sportsmen and women that yeah. go there. Let's not just have it there just as for yeah. someone who's a football fan or an American football fan. Let's yeah. really brand okay, it. Right.
round of applause for That's that one. That's much agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree with her as well. I think we need some kind of promotion yeah. um, to stay that place yeah. where we are enter. We, do you think we I mean, from what Lorraine said, are we actually using that, that high-profile element enough? Of Wembley. We're not actually, isn't yeah. it? I think we need to promote that, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Get, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you off as well? To, yeah, let's get a final thought and an initial thought from you as well. Me? You've not said anything. Me? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Sit down for a second. Let's just get some. What, what do you think about all this conversation? Being great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it make you think? Is there a, what do you think is the right direction here? This is the future, isn't it? Still. But how are we going to represent that? How are we going to actually package that, sell that to the rest of London, get them, get London to give Brent... Just get more tourists. Um, yeah. Just get more landmarks, to be honest. Yeah, like, around the landmark around. idea is a yeah. good idea. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Tina, whoops, final thought? Uh, final thought, um, do more activities in Brent or yeah. do more things that associate different people and bring people yeah. together. Like, like so, the basketball, for yeah, example. Yeah, like the basketball. Not only basketball. Like Give us maybe, some other maybe ideas. some people don't like sports. Maybe yeah. you can do like um, talk meetings or things about your health or like yeah. things like that. Or when people, do you know when people are in a circle like this yeah. and they talk about problems in their life, they can open up to people. Yeah. And yeah. When, obviously, when you open up to people, you feel much better about it. Okay. So, so yeah, ways of like getting that. people to communicate yeah. more. Yeah. All kinds of activities. Could be even Tokyoki, what we're doing right now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We had great opportunities to like uh, yeah. present all of the boroughs in London, to be honest, yeah. and we didn't really take it. We only presented the London Olympic Park as one of the things, where we, whereas we had great yeah. opportunities to get all of our athletes, even foreign athletes and things like that, say we came to Brent to have a look at the Wembley Stadium, look at this great landmark, this, that. Welcome to Brent it, by Jessica Ennis with her little dog from the adverts or yeah. so on and so forth, you know. Or I, I was an Olympic runner, I went to train yeah. near Wembley, which is in Brent, something like that, just throw out a yeah. couple of it free promotions from There could athletes. be a lot of promotions that there are famous sports people coming in and out of Brent all the time and we're not really using that. We're not connecting that with the area, it seems. We didn't get your name. What's your name? I'm Charlie. Charlie, thanks for the espresso. It was good. Pleasure. Um, have you got any... Have you you've been listening to what the conversation is? Have you I'm got pricked by the statue thing. Like, if yeah. we were going to put up a statue, who... who if that said that said Brent, or, like, or not of a person... OK, well, so it wouldn't be of a person then. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be more it'd be more of a like landmark not a statue of some sort it's not like what they had in central London with Gandhi and all this and yeah. not not a person because there's not one person who could represent a, a what would you, I mean what would it be then if it's not a person you could have I don't know just some mad surreal object that yeah, people look just at something go, really weird Brent, isn't it? can you think of any mad surreal objects that are out there that represent different oh, places yeah, the arch for example so the arch it's just got to be something weird that stands out so some kind of Rick can you visualise this? I know you're probably still getting up and running. Uh, what am I doing? Some kind of sub bit large surreal object on, on the North Circular that says you are now, you are entering Brent. Um, just to, to say it's got a connection, something like that. You going to come back and get involved in this? Yeah, so, so at the moment we're talking about this, like what kind of giant landmark could you have? If it's not a statue, if it's not an arch, because there's already we've already got an arch, what what would it be? We have a lot of parks. We have yeah. a lot of parks in Harrow, yeah. and almost all the parks in Harrow at least have one piece of uh, outside art. Yeah. So there's this one in ne it's next to Harrow College, and it's just yeah. a big metal leaf. But yeah. when I see it, I know okay, I'm home in my Harrow. So the metal leaf, for example, is an, is a good example. I'd yeah. But does, does it have to be bigger than that, just to sort of? I mean, it's 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 pretty large. It could yeah. fit maybe like ten or fifteen people standing on it. It's quite right. a large thing. Okay. But, does um, everyone know about this large metal never leaf? Know, never know. Never no, seen no. it. Yeah. Personally, I believe the statue won't work because I think yeah. Brent is more of a younger community nowadays. Like yeah. it's for like all of us here. Yeah. And also the fact the young community don't pay attention to um, massive statues no more. Yeah. Like. Um, when London Eye came out, everyone yeah. thought it was amazing. Yeah. But because it's a London Eye, but it dies out slowly. Everything yeah. dies out slowly. So people are kind of used so, to London Eye. So now. exactly, and also yeah. for Brent, people will, will get used to the statues slowly. Yeah. So I think for Brent to get on the map, I think younger people like our age or maybe even younger should start yeah. um, supporting Brent from a young age, and therefore they'll go up and they'll carry on what doing do that. What do you mean for supporting? What would they be doing? Oh, well, like because uh, when I was young, and I used yeah. to live, I lived Brent my whole life. So when I was young, the thing that Catched yeah. me the most is sports as well. Yeah, but it was just, like you said the parks we have. Um, yeah, because 
people from all cultures used to go around and come together and make friends from that very park yeah. and play football randomly. Yeah. It might not be a proper match, but they were yeah, still people, playing. There'd be a yeah. game going a couple exactly. of jumpers down on the ground. Exactly, even when it comes to basketball or, yeah. or football. But the thing is, people learn each other's names and know yeah. their own culture and learn different cultures by yeah. that park. So I don't think a statue will work because it's just a thing. It's just a place. Yeah. It's just it's a, a symbol. too static. Exactly. You know? So I think um, yeah. young kids should make a trend for something for Brent. I don't know what, what yeah. trend, but it should be a yeah. good trend to put Brent in the map again. Yeah. I mean, yep, go on. Right, right now in college is uh, one of the extra courses that some yeah. of the students are taking. Uh, we're doing an arts course yeah. um, as just an added extra to our general one. Yeah. And uh, what we're doing right now is we're thinking about designs for painting in the school and right. painting giant murals across the school. Yeah. So outside there, outside of the buildings and inside by the hall, uh, we get, we've been given permission to paint these massive uh, murals, yeah. just things. And if, if like this guy was saying, it, it, uh, yeah. young people to get involved, maybe we could just get hundreds of young people to just go around, be given specific walls and just paint nice murals around. So almost like an army of muralists. Yeah. Would that work? Is it a, yeah. I, th I think Brent is popular for the power yeah. when we all join together. Like people said already in the yeah. thing, is that Brent's powerful together. Yeah. So I think if we do something like that and show yeah. how powerful we are as a group, as a, as a yeah. community, I think Brent will show how yeah. how they're still here and they're still, yeah. they're still Brent's still alive. So it's something about that kind of group power or something like that. This kind of like group, the groups getting together could be a more effective way of just saying, look, this is Brent. We're a big group. We're a mixed group. Um, what could that be? What, uh, fashion show. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Get all of the colleges in Brent to uh, yeah. do j make some fashion. All the hair and beauty stylists and things like that to do stuff. And yeah. then, and then after that, have art exhibits yeah. and just have something going on throughout the year. Maybe two or three events for yeah. different types of courses. So obviously the creative courses because you couldn't really yeah. do a massive seminar on business, which you could. But well, could you not, not many have like people a, would like in the same way as people? You have a group of people coming out doing murals. Could you have a group of people coming out and doing business? On as a you, you think that's possible? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, they can do a print. Uh, yeah, they could do anything. So it's way. just people getting out there yeah. in a way. I mean, I think that sounds like a popular idea, but it's just a question of how to organise, how to get people out there, what they're actually doing Same when they are out there. Pounds. What's that? <laughs> tell, tell the council you need the that's million pounds to sort out some definitely sort a, out some things for the kids, it's definitely right? Definitely a, a bil uh, business thing. Children want to express themselves so yeah. they can get better jobs and put it on their CVs and say yeah. that they're better at what they're doing and give examples instead of just saying, "Oh, here's a certificate, yeah. take that." No, here's pictures of me and my work on the website, yeah. on news, on TV, yeah. in newspapers. Take me for my job yeah. because look, I've done a lot more things than most people who uh, just have a certificate. I mean, do you think that it's it's quite hard for younger people? to get a job because yes. they, they're not taking what yes it is yeah because um yeah how do i explain oh, go, go, go for it go there wait give it a minute yeah uh, what are you I, yeah. I agree but also i disagree with the same fact about that is because yeah. i think people in brent are not taking the opportunity like young people like us don't take the opportunity that we get and yeah. don't understand what opportunities we, opportunities we have with yeah. it in this in Brent and our right, age, okay. so I already have a job. Yeah. But the thing is, it took me time to find one, and also to find a close one in Brent. But also the fact people don't want to work in Brent uh, that much because um, the people around in Brent, un the people are nice, but there's also b angry people within yeah. Brent, which kind of makes us look like a bad, yeah, a bad place. So the, the, the angry people bring it down. A little uh, bit. I don't say the angry people bring it down. I think. Yeah. As a community, the way we react, as a, uh, uh, people that react in Brent, yeah. can pull us down. Right. Because there's more things in us than being really angry and such. Yeah. Okay. If if you take a broad view of some people of what yeah. they do, like, um, say if you were to come into a new area, say yeah. say a video game, right? Say you were to go into a video game, and the yeah. first game you play, you weren't good at it. You yeah. come into Brent, you don't know what you're doing. For example, yeah. same same difference. So if Brent and was like a video game. Yeah, you come in, yeah. you don't know what you're doing. You yeah. ask someone where this is, yeah. and the first thing they say is, "Oh, get yeah. off! You're so bad!" Or this yeah. and that, or just leave. We don't yeah. care. We don't want to talk to you. They right. cross, okay, cross the be, other lane. Because your, your questions you would be too basic. Yeah, and you wouldn't want to come back. Um, yeah. If you wouldn't do that, but yeah. what some people don't do is they don't talk to other people or get an idea from other people. They just come in, look once, and then just go. Oh, it's kind of like window shopping for bars yeah. to look at and go to visit. Um, so I mean, 
being rude is something we can't like arrest people for or make like yeah. a rule for. It's just generally some people's outset, so that wouldn't stop people. Yeah. But I mean, if you were to say to people, uh, just be a bit nicer to everyone. We want this to be, be a nice yeah. area, re uh, rejuvenate some of the areas, make it look nicer. Uh, people would be happier, I guess. Um, yeah. People would be more willing to coinc uh, not coincide. Uh, sorry, uh, cohabitate so, the rest so of in the a way, area with it, other people. If Brent was a game, it would be quite a difficult game to get into. But once you get into it, yeah. once you get into it, it would be quite rewarding. Once you get, I mean, what do people think about that idea of kind of gamifying right. the borough? And what would it be? I mean, how would you kind of, you know, could it? Could you have Brent the computer I, game? I, I just think of it as it's GTA or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit like GTA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, Rick. Maybe we, once you've done the statue, maybe you can visualise Brent as GTA. At the back there. Um, Charlie, were you going to say something? I, I don't know what GTA is. Oh, 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 explain what GTA is. <laughs> okay, GTA is an online, um, online, like, it's an online server where you can build your own character and be in like a big server where you can play with like more than 40 people. You can get, you can do whatever you want. You know, you can kill, steal cars, yeah. basically like an illegal it's game based, it's based on America basically so it's based in America and it has like the like the central lines and everything yeah. and you can basically explore America like the actual outline of like not the whole America but the whole cities or certain cities like there's New York and such like that right but so within the game for if say we make a game for rent it will be just the borough and everyone can explore the borough so imagine someone's imagine it's raining outside and yeah. then instead of going out and you want to explore you can go in the game and go walk yeah. your normal path you take to go to school or go to go yeah. shopping but instead you're in the game so y you can explore brent yeah. within visually by by pixels and go basically. on a crime spree yeah and go on a crime and not get in trouble for it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do yeah. you know what I mean yeah, do you think that would ruin, that make it well, worse? Well, it depends what people are doing yeah. in the game, doesn't it? Like, if, yeah. if you're just going around shooting each other, then yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm staying away yeah. from that. Yeah. Yeah. Is it still happening now, though? Yeah. That's still happening is now. It part, is it, yeah. Like, I'm not saying get it because based on real life and such, or like yeah. based on GTA's crime rates and such. I'm just saying maybe you can do it as like a, another way for tourism. Yeah. Or, or another way of yeah. um, showing how beautiful Brent is itself because there's many places in Brent that are amazing, but yeah. people don't know about it. Cause yeah, because they don't go there like yeah. uh, for the, the quote don't uh, don't judge a book by its cover yeah. don't judge Brent by its, uh, by the outlook yeah. or the outskirts of it because if you go inside and deep inside there's beautiful places yeah. there as well yeah um, also just to just to contrast it it'd actually be quite a good experience to um, make a video game like that mm. to show everyone being violent and everything and then as soon as you yeah. come to Brent it's calm everyone's yeah. chill so you're yeah. like what did I play so you can play almost like a flick a switch and just and then yeah. at, at the end of the game you could be like well yeah. basically this is the stereotype type of Brent. Yeah. Brent is nothing like this. Go and visit. Right. And then if people actually come and visit, they'll be like, wow, write a review. Brent yeah. is nothing like the game we just played, even yeah. though it's based on a one-to-one so -one scale. So, what you're sort of trying to say, if you had a kind of GTA version of Brent, it could actually give a positive image to Brent because it's so different from what Brent's actually like. Yeah, it, it could be better as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's say like like two people are angry. Instead yeah. of going out and fighting each other, yeah, go in a game yeah. and then do something about it. One yeah. One and call of duty. Exactly. Oh, oh, call of duty. There you go. Yeah. Go in there, shoot each other until you're happy. Yeah. And then that's it. <laughs> yeah. And you go home, have um, go in peace and without getting hurt or anything. Yeah. So it could work. I mean, could you? But I don't think that. Could I, I don't think that will help in notch trades because like uh, I remember there's a there was a news report about how yeah. a kid was playing GTA and then he stole his mum's car. Yeah. So then he went on the uh, a driving spree, and then yeah. the police couldn't uh, ram him over. So yeah. I think if you play Call of Duty and GTA and based yeah. on that games, it won't help. Maybe like Sims. Okay. I mean, this maybe is Sims would yeah. be better because Sims is. Because yeah. this is a question. No, we, let's, let's put let's put this out there to the whole room. Would playing GTA or or Call of Duty in Brent would it make it more peaceful or less peaceful? Because there's an argument to say more peaceful in that people would get their aggression. Now, or would they actually take it into real life? Take it like this. Pe people in people in England are quite lucky because, um, firstly, we have free healthcare and all those things, and secondly, we don't have guns. Yeah. Um, you can take this area and say it's violent, fine, if people want to say it's violent and there's stabbings and things like that. But then in America, compared, there are school shootings where people go and kill children. Yeah. Um, for no reason. 
So, I mean, if you're saying, oh, Brent's a nasty area, you're comparing it to a yeah. lovely area as London, but then if you compare Brent to America, well then, you know, obviously they're two separate countries, they're two separate yeah. governments, things like that, but it's still vastly better than yeah. anything else. But that I mean, that I think everyone's working. agreeing that. It's a more a question about whether it would actually be a positive or a negative impact if you had this game. It could be both. I, yeah. I think it will be more negative. The reason yeah. why I think it's more negative because, like it's in news, in, in England, knife crime is going up already. So yeah. making a game more violent and shooting is not going to help us because there's been increasing yeah. in, in knife crime in Brent itself and, and also uh, in kids or younger generations bringing yeah. knives to school and such. It's been on the news in England. I mean, basically talking about England, not America. Yeah. Talking about so it's increasing in England. So if you do a violent game and younger kids will see it, obviously it's like another well, saying, monkey this? see, yeah. monkey do. Well, so if well, we see something, sometimes someone's going to do it. What about this was making that will actually help people to get their aggression out uh, in, the, in but the, the game so they didn't do but it? Instead of doing, uh, for a game to be so, for a game for yeah. being so violent, um, I, it's not a good, great way because yeah. maybe do it in activities again. We can, like we said, there's Wilson Sports Centre, there's other sports yeah. centres in there in Brent. So we can use that and make it like um, a day where the, everyone can go for a one day free uh, yeah. to just to go in a boxing bag or something. Okay. Use, so you use, your, in use your anger yeah. another, in a, another energy for So you think for, more like martial good. arts or boxing yeah, or something like more, that? Yeah, more clubs. Yeah. Yeah. To maim someone and hurt them. Yeah. I, play, I play violent video games for multiple hours a day, 14 ah. hours plus. Right. Where do you stand on this? Do you think it will make it more peaceful or less more peaceful? More peaceful. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I, I, I rage at games. I rage quit. Yeah. I throw my mouse and controller across the room sometimes. Yeah. But at least it's happening to my mouse and controller and not a knife that I'm throwing at someone else or stabbing someone else with. Correct? Yeah. Because I'm doing that in the game. Right. I don't need to do that to anyone. And right. when you do that in game, yeah. you can get the satisfaction of going, ha, or whatever, or things yeah. like that. You could say, ha, screw yeah. you, you, you're bad at the game, you're a noob, things yeah. like that. Instead of going, you can't really say, ha, you're a noob as you're stabbing someone to death because yeah. that, that, no, yeah. that's just a really stupid idea. I right. think that spending, spending multiple hours on gaming yeah. is not the greatest thing unless you make something yeah. out of it. But spending multiple hours on gaming if you feel like you're angry or things like that or just playing some chill music i play rhythm yeah. games and things like that listen to music i like play yeah. along with it just tap along to the game like a piano and it just chills you out like get less salty as people would say if you're salty or toxic on a game you just detoxify right. just chill out and i mean i've i've been i've been pissed off going outside yeah. i've been pissed off going and playing with people when i was younger and i've just come home sat down switched on call of duty and i've chilled for like five hours and i'll be fine it's okay. just, it mellows you out it's nothing because you can put your mind to it instead of putting your mind to whatever is angry and then shout at people f and not have any repercussions because it's over the internet okay charlie have you got any views on this not really no i was just kind of thinking about the um yeah this the this stuff about i, I kind of wondered Give us a final thought before you go. Go for it. Okay, go on. Uh, well, well, the final thought with the, with the game, it's 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 fifty fifty really because yeah. it can be m a money waste as well because because yeah. games die out and if it's not as good as it's meant to be, mm. people lose interest in really yeah. quickly and there will be another game based on not and maybe not another another place or yeah. uh, 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 within London and so that. You so have you can to keep it fresh. Yeah, it, it, like for example, GTA there's one, two, three, four to five, and it keeps yeah. on getting fresher and fresher with new yeah. ideas. So Brent will need to like keep on making new games, and yeah. that will be kind of a waste of our money because yeah. we're, we're buying a game or making a game for younger generations, but then we're not targeting the older generation yeah. with it because okay. he, like, he he didn't know what GTA was. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So older people might. We've got to think about how to bring them in. Would a game actually work for that? I mean, if you made it, yeah. if you made it in VR, I'm pretty yeah. sure older people would get in, get involved. I mean, Charlie, have yeah. you ever tried VR? Have you heard of VR? Virtual reality? Of course, everyone's yeah. heard of VR. It doesn't matter how old you are, because it's a new thing. It's putting yeah. you in a reality that's so, not your own. So, uh, maybe a virtual reality, Brent. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Talkie Aki. This is a pop-up talk show. Uh, we're, just, we're here for today only, but we are here all day. And we're, what we're doing is we're talking about... Brent and what is culture in Brent actually and what would sell Brent to the rest of London, the rest of the world. So far we've discovered that it's a very harmonious, peaceful place and maybe there's something that's gonna, that could be exported and the ideas we've come up with so far to export it have been more landmarks like the Wembley Arch, using um, 
all of those athletes and professionals that come to Wembley more in the community, or what we're talking about now, which is the idea of Brent, the video game or the VR experience, um, would that work as a way of promoting the area? And would like a kind of like violent Call of Duty like video game in Brent increase or decrease the violence? That's what we're talking about so far. And um, let's just quickly get a round of names. So we've got Jamal, we've got Harry, what's your name? Vassal. Vassal? Vassal, yes. Um, we've got Charlie, and um, what was it? Caleb. Caleb, that's right. And uh, I'm Mikey. So that's where we are right now. Um, I don't know, what do you think of the idea of Brent the video game? I think GTA itself is yeah. a very violent game, so I don't think it would yeah. help in making it a good... Because Jamal's making the argument that it would chill people out, so then when they got into reality, they would be less violent. Um, actually, study shows that children yeah. who play a lot of uh, yeah. video games tend yeah. to be more violent in real life. Yeah. <laughs> video games, though. There's age ratings on yeah. them for a reason. I it mean, should be 18 plus because the child should be 18 and or over to be able to make their own But, I mean, does that happen in reality? Of course not, because parents are pushovers. But the thing is, is that if they weren't pushovers, then those studies wouldn't show yeah. that. And studies only show that because parents are being bad parents and buying their children. Okay, so you're blaming games. the parents yeah, for this? Yeah, of course, okay. completely. All right. Um, I blame my own parents for it. Yeah. I'd, I'd say, yes, my parents bought me GTA when I was two. I've played GTA all my life. I've really? played Call But I mean, of Duty you're saying that you're not a violent I'm person. I'm not violent. I'm very mellow. I stay inside all the time. I don't tend to go outside unless I need to, um, yeah. unless I, just because I've got a job online yeah. playing video games all the time. But I mean, if you can put your mind to it and make money from it, then yeah, go ahead. I stay inside. I draw. I yeah. play video games. I don't. I don't do much else. I don't find a reason to get mad at anyone. If I do get angry at someone, it's just verbally. Yeah. I would never tend to hit someone ever. Yeah. I would never okay. tend to hurt or maim anyone. Okay. There's no point. Uh, we've got. We've got the idea. So I mean, you're saying the studies are saying that. Um, I think it'd yeah. be a, more of a better idea if we engage people, young people, yeah. with the world than yeah. to like give them yeah. video games and have them just in their own world. So you know? how do you engage the young people with the world? Come and get involved this. Through having youth clubs, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, just youth clubs. So more actual there. real activities rather yeah, than activities. online activities. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe you could put the youth clubs in the in the video game. It's yeah. like if you're gonna have yeah, a video game about like Brent, it's like like what are you gonna sort of what are you gonna show in it? I mean, I mean there, there is a game, uh, I can't remember the name of it, it's basically an open lobby game. Hundreds of people join, you create your own character skin, and you just go around talking to people. So it's like a virtual day, youth club? It's just a virtual room yeah. with virtual people in it, and mm. you don't know anyone's name, you don't know anything, you just ask them, how's your day been? People go around making funny videos, they go, so if you could change, if you, well, what do you think the government's hiding from us? An update to this next game or something, some people make funny jokes, some people actually just chill and talk. But, uh, there's this, um, it's a conference room, I watched yeah. a video on it, it was people talking about uh, some dude had special needs and things like that and he was talking about um, yeah. that he t had trouble making his own character model and things like that but he finally got it done everyone congratulated him everyone was happy for him everyone was yeah. being nice and chill there were obviously some so people so it's like a real social trolls. space but yeah it's just a general space so if you put that in the game made yourself be able to go into it as you walk in hundreds of people sit sitting around yeah. play virtual basketball do things yeah. like that. in real life you know Why it's not healthier yeah. it's healthier it's healthy. you know than yeah. having somebody sit down for yeah. hours in front of him. You stand up and move around. Okay, no. so you're talking about you a virtual reality game. In your room. But I mean, it, once... It, yeah. If you're ill and you want to yeah. connect with your friends, wouldn't yeah. that be a good, better idea? We already have youth clubs, but what about for people who can't go outside, people who refuse to go outside, introverts who don't like leaving their bedrooms or leaving the house? Okay, what I mean there's a point though from, from Vassal about the healthiness of this. Are we going a bit too virtual now? Are we not are we kind of almost scared to meet each other in the real world? Um, yep. we're, we're confident. Yeah. I think so do you think that those two things can actually enhance each yeah. other? Do you think it's unhealthy? No, Taylor? I think it's healthy. Yeah? So the VR world is healthy, yeah. It's not real though. Yeah. You need something that's real, you know? Yeah. I got most of my talking skill and speaking skills from playing video games because I play multiple team-based games, so I have to sit there, talk tactics, talk to my teammates all the time, and it doesn't work if you don't have team cohesion and you don't know how to connect with people. So is that I what drove you out, to, uh, yeah. to get better at talking? Yeah, I generally don't go outside, so I don't talk to other yeah. people outside, but I still know how to connect with people because I have these friends that I play with who are real-life yeah. friends, some aren't, 
but I still manage to communicate with them in a social way and we just chill out and talk what and draw and things sunshine? like that. Don't need it. Got windows. Okay. Uh, yeah. I d- I, I don't think the reason why I didn't know what that video game was called is because I'm like too old. It's just because I've never, I've never, I've never liked video games on principle. And the reason why I don't like them is because yeah. I think they feed you s- problems that you can solve. They're always giving you solvable problems. Yeah. And like I think if you're doing that too much, it's unhealthy because life doesn't give you solvable problems. It's full of like pain, heartache, so unresolvable pain tension. In, in yeah, there isn't enough pain. It's like yeah. you can al- you can always fix it and that's why they're yeah. addictive because it's like, oh, I can always... And it's like okay, okay. Um, we I feel like interacting with others yeah. helps you to communicate yeah. better. You'll become like, you'll speak formally, especially if you're working like in work experience, you'll get more skills and the quality. Yeah. So you think the real is better? You don't, yeah, what about this question that Caleb and Jamal are saying that enhances that the, those two things can enhance each other, that you can maybe get more confident in the workplace if you go virtual first? Both is still possible. Yeah. So be, playing video games can still help you communicate and yeah. interact with others because you'll become more confident Yeah. and you have different ways of communicating with others. Yeah. And if you're bilingual or like multilingual, it still helps you to become better at your language, your yeah. first language, yeah. your second language. Those, so it's good yeah. for actually for yeah. multi multi languages. Um, sh- Harry, you've not said much for a while. Well, have you got any views on any of this conjecture about Brent the video game? Is it unhealthy? It it, it depends how it's. Uh, what direction you're going for, really? Yeah. I, I don't really see a shooter game helping. Yeah. Helping but what about this? Some some kind much. of like virtual. A VR would be better. Like yeah. if you could just walk through the whole borough and just see what it's actually like. That'll be that, that'll you be think helpful. That would yeah. And and interact with people. Yeah, that would work. Okay. So you think like a so it's not just about shooting and there's this idea, you know. Get away from that. Yeah. I you think you get away from that. You don't think that's a nah. good idea. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Um, I think how about actually offering our youth. Um, services such as sports, you know, yeah. swimming, all kinds of stuff to, like, um, bring is them together, that, you know. That, is, have they got and that already? They do. But, I mean, before we can attract other people from outside, we need to focus on what's going on inside within Brent. Yeah. So, are the communities happy? Are they happy with what they have? Yeah. So, I think that um, to enhance the community. Yeah, so we actually need to invest directly in the community yeah. and, and make that more harmonious. First. Yeah, definitely. So through, you know, bringing the people together and yeah. making them sort of friends. Yeah. You know. So you and how do you do that through the, Not all through video games. Through, through live activities. Come please, please, please. And I just want to say this to anyone who's listening, please do come and have a seat on the table of chat. We want your ideas. We're getting your ideas, which is excellent, but we want more. And we want more different ideas as well. Um, so we've got Vasal, we've got Harry, we've got Jamal, Caleb, uh, My name is I'm coming around to you, we've got Charlie and then what is it? Vishanika. What's Shadiko? Vishanika. Vishanika. Yeah. And Sophia. Sophia, that's right. And uh, I'm Mikey. And please do come and sit down. So at the moment, what we're talking about is Brent and uh, how to actually enhance Brent and make it a place that people know about across the world. But also, you know, they want to come there and they want to be part of what's going on here. And a lot has been identified so far about how it's a very welcoming, harmonious place in a way, a model for the whole world, where all different people from around the world can live together and be friends. But how to actually promote that? Could it be for a giant landmark, like a big statue, or not a statue, maybe some just surreal objects? Could it be through uh, celebrities endorsing the area? Could it be through Brent the video game? That's what we're talking about at the moment. What is the best way, really, to bring people in? Come and have a seat. I live. <laughs> so, what's your name? And my name is Natasha. Natasha, we got. What's your name again? Vashanika. Vashanika, Sophia, Vassal, Harry, Jamal, Caleb, Charlie, I'm Mikey. What were you going to say? I was living in Brent, but my family is like yeah. they live in my house actually. That yeah. that people can come. My family members can come and see us and all yeah. the time. Yeah. We all 
actually we act together. We have yeah. we have like family problems, but I have to sort my own decisions to make my own. Own. I came to college because I have to learn everything what I want to do, and then my family decided to tell me that they they supporting me for the college stuff and doing my course. I mean, do your family live in Brent? Yeah, that. The brain cards to give us a new house, so yeah. we yeah. moved into another house. Okay, and what I mean, what do they think of Brent? Is Brent? Do you think it's a welcoming place? It might be. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you just got my little sum up, or do I have to do it again? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. So what we're basically talking about is is like we are here because of. Um, I feel like someone was, was here that's gone now. Tina. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, we were basically we're talking, um, it's all started off because of this thing. I'll go from the very, very beginning. Um, Brent wants to become London Borough of Culture and get a million pounds or more to spend on culture. But there's some problems with this. First of all, what is culture? Secondly, what is Brent? Um, thirdly, you know, how do we persuade the people to go, yes, this is it, this is what we're going to do. So then we've just been, ha we're just getting people's ideas going around, all around the borough, but today, you know, I think what pe a lot of people have mostly focused on is this question of this harmony and this kind of niceness, friendliness of the area, or how to actually promote that. But okay, yeah, there's anger and violence and stuff like that, but people deal with it in a very positive way and that's also mm. something that and then we talked about different ideas for that could it be Brent the video game mm. um, Brent uh, like some kind of landmark a bit like Wembley Stadium but a bit more local but just mm. as large to say look you are here welcome to Brent here you are or some kind of other sort of celebration mm. of of the area so that's where we are right now um, um, and currently we're talking about Brent the video game what could it actually enhance, or will it, you know, for so I was saying basically it's, that could be unhealthy as well because it discourages people from actually leaving their house yeah. and actually doing stuff in the real world. But Jamal was saying actually that can give you more confidence and more abilities to deal with the real world. So that's where we are right now. Um, I don't, where do we want to move on to? Where do we want to go with this? Yeah. You want to I live... I w I am a Hindu. Yeah. I live with the f with my f favorite family, and I live with them. I believe my religion now, yeah. from from I came here, and now I'm starting to learn my religion, all the things with my family, and what I went to temple with my family all yeah. the time. So I what, pray for what them. What about the all the other religions? Because one of the things has been said is there's lots of different religions. But Every s religions are we can come equally. Every they all come equally. Yeah. Okay. Do people ag agree with that? People see that. And how do? I mean, we started off the thing talking about how all of these things could be celebrated. Um, is that the key to actually? Is the is the religions the key? Um, I don't know if religion is the key. I think y yes, because the area has had lots of problems. Um, I think what you could look at, the same as areas like Brixton yeah. have been kind of pulled up yeah. and revamped, and not just regenerated, mm. but the, also a lot of inclusion for the local community. Yeah. It has to be community inclusion, obviously, in these kinds of areas, because people have to feel, one, connected to their area, two, feel like you know they're part of it, mm. and three, feel like they're part of the bigger picture for improvement and and regeneration mm. um, I think that's kind of the key yes there's lots and lots of problems with knife crime and shootings and you know some real negative yeah. just like the whole of London mm. um, and for you know like quite a small place per capita like how much happens in that area yeah. you know the figures quite high so it's it's really about trying to turn that around it's not impossible because it has been done it has been done before if you look yeah. at like I say if you look at an area like Brixton how that's been revamped yeah. and revitalised. I mean, I, I don't know, it might just be here in this library, but it seems there's a very positive approach and there's a very harmonious approach that's already coming from the young people. Mm. So is it about somehow encouraging that or um, kind of showcasing that more? 
Well, I mean, what do people, where do we want to go with this? Do you want to talk about some of those? What's that? I'm saying yeah. that that each, what what happened in, in Westminster, yeah. I was looking at the news, and all the time I think about it, it was so sad that, that all of the parliament, they didn't think about what was going on onto the thing. I mean, f the Labour Party. So what what are you saying? I mean, the br the the Westminster. What yeah. happened in shooting is just made it worse than that. So you're talking about the terrorism yeah. in, in Westminster. Yeah. Okay. So it's things like terrorism and stuff like that, which I guess can give a very negative influence. How do we deal with that? Uh, terrorism in Brent, though. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it? There's has there been no, terrorism? I don't, I don't actually think that. I think yeah. there's obviously just been yeah. like gang crimes, like a couple yeah. of stabbings or things like that. But I mean, in general, you don't find people blowing themselves up and things like that. So I ju just to put it very generally and bluntly, you don't find people running into but a building I mean, and blowing up kids. Do you think that? So that I mean, okay, if it happens. I mean, look, but the thing is, is that like in central London, yeah, it's it's predominantly business based and things, and so doing a crime there wouldn't really do anything. So the people are thinking about it like they're going into London, they're blowing themselves up and shooting people for a message, to send a message to other yeah. people. But what people do, it doesn't show a message, it just kind of shows stupidity or how they thought yeah. of it. Instead of instead of doing it of in a place that's more populated, more yeah. homes, more things like that, it's not giving people ideas, um, is they, they went they went to a very populated business area and done something very stupid, done yeah. something very cruel, um, when they could have just not done it. And the, we have the do same religion here. Effect in this area? Not really. We have the same religions here. Yeah. We have Islam, Hinduism, yeah. Judaism, all of these religions. Some more than others, some less yeah. than others, uh, vice versa. Um, and you don't really get anything here. The people yeah. here are very chill, very, uh, very. Div okay, fine. There's divides between people, of course. Yeah. Religions but you're, cause divides. You're, you're, but, you know. you're saying more that it's the the bringing together the the actual. Yeah, being together with a bunch of people is, actually, is, is nicer, much more powerful yeah. than 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 a business yeah. estate in the yeah. middle of London. Okay, yeah. so okay. Yeah. But I think it's like what do we what would we what what would sim what would symbolise the this kind of universal culture which goes beyond people's religion or their neighbourhood or whatever. I mean, this building, I guess, is like some of it, but pe people from outside aren't going to understand that. They're going to, they're going to need to look at yeah. people or representatives or, you know, this big surreal piece of art or the mules. Like, like what, what is... So what you're saying is there's not enough to actually kind of... Hello, come and take a seat if you want to. I also <laughs> think it's a big problem that, yeah. like... Nines is probably the most famous person in the borough, and does he? Yeah. You know, does he? Does he represent the best of it or not? Nines, nines the rapper Nines. Nines. Has anyone heard of Nines? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyone here? Anyone heard of Nines? It's like most. You know. I have no idea who you are. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know who that person is. Okay, you, you, you know about. No, I don't know him. I know yeah. of him. Yeah. I just know his name and that he raps. That's Do you it. think he's associated strongly with Brent, with this area? I have no idea. Okay, so, I mean, is he? You say yeah? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Off this guy over here. Yeah. I mean, I is, it a, is it a bad thing, do you think? No, it's, no, it's good. Yeah, you think it's good that he is? It's just bringing in the community yeah. together, even yeah. closer. Yeah. I mean, what, I mean, there's, there was something that kind of came up with the sports people more than the music people, but should we be using celebrities or yeah. trying to get them to say more about the community? Uh, is that the way to sort of like say, oh, this is a great area, to just to get the sports people and the, and the people like Nines to actually say more about it? Is it? Together and yeah. try to help our country to be much better. Yeah. Okay, you think the celebrity is the way to do it? Yeah. Okay. I was agreeing with what Miss said. Yeah. Um, about the um, high, high percentage of crimes and stuff. Yeah. I think the reason why that happens so much is because, um, like the like young people don't know their worth. They don't know. They aren't as educated enough. They don't know what's right. They don't know what's wrong. So yeah. this is why they put themselves at such high risk. So I think it's important. When you say they don't know their worth, what? Because if you know your worth, I mean, yeah. you're not going to be doing what you do, what they are doing, you know, to get themselves killed, you know. So they're not valuing their own lives. They don't know what's important. 
yeah. they don't know what's their purpose, what they should be doing. Okay. You know. So I think if we spent more time on spiritual growth, um, that can really make a huge difference. And what would spiritual growth be Just for you? Just meaning like who we are as people, you know. Yeah. yeah let's give us, a, give us a final thought. So spirit, that's, a, that's a great point from Vassal, spiritual growth. Do young people know their worth? And what, you know, what is this question of spiritual growth? Could, could we be using this million pounds to promote spiritual growth? And what would that mean? Sit down for a second and give us your final thoughts. Harry, Jamal, who wants to go first? Um, what, I, what I can say is I think that yeah. Brent's got a pretty good shot of winning this, yeah. winning the Pro of Why? Culture. I think just the, the, the way that it's been brought up already. I mean, yeah. without this yeah. big donation of yeah. you know, a million pounds it's yeah. in a status of it it's still being able to grow yeah. and I think if it does get if it does yeah. win it's just going to so gonna in a way it's good at solving problems and being harmonious and mm-hmm. you know yeah. um, so it's on. It's, it's kind of getting there anyway okay uh, I'm probably just going to say that Sadiq Khan should bump up the amount of money that he's giving since they're giving the Queen 314 million to revamp Buckingham Palace. I'm right. pretty sure she doesn't live in a tip. Okay. Some people do in yeah. this area, so I'm pretty sure they should have their homes revamped, maybe. Um, okay. so you not maybe, should do. Uh, because Why do you think they're spending 314 million on the Queen and not 340 because million on like local because homes? Because no one really cares about the local homes. Yeah. No one really cares about the community. What they care about is, yeah, you know, they don't even care about the NHS to be honest. Saying that taking away f- uh, free water bottles from the ambulance people who save their lives and things yeah. like this, it's it's ridiculous how much money they spend on crap of doing absolutely nothing and sending money to yeah. different countries when we can't even help our own. Sending right. sending 14 million or billion or whatever, so on and so forth, to Africa, and it doesn't help at all. It did. We sent that for, what, maybe like 20 years? And where is Africa? Still in the same poverty it was before. It doesn't seem like it's helping at all, okay. like, in any way. So what's the point in continuing it, and why would we do that when we can spend our money on our own country and have our own money? So Sadiq Khan should probably bump up the amount that he's giving us in that check if yeah. he does give it to us and if we do okay. win and revamp some of the areas we'll more. try and send this to Sadiq Khan we'll, we'll send him the link anyway that's all we can do um, okay so thanks guys we've got some, luckily we've got some new faces to the table um, come and have a seat so this is about a homeless people to live their new house yeah you, is that what you would spend the money on yeah Okay, um, so we've got some new faces to the table. This is Talkie Aki, it's a freeform talk show. At the moment, we're kind of talking about this question of, like, in a way, what if you got some money for the area, what would you spend it on? Would it be spiritual growth, promoting spiritual growth? Do young people know their worth? Um, that's one question. Then there's also this question about, you know, what would actually represent the, the kind of the things of, of Brent? What would actually Brent... Maybe they have to build more, more new house, maybe, yeah. you, you and think. other people can live there if they wanted to or not to, or maybe if they if they Brexit, the other people and they yeah. that other people go out well, from that's somewhere. Big subject to all over, all over again. I mean, we're kind of it's kind of up to you to decide where you want to go with this. Um, this is this is celebrity endorsement of. Um, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering who that was. It's Riz Ahmed, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So you were looking. Yeah, I was like, I was like, <laughs> but anyway, um, so celebrity endorsement of the area, is that a good thing? Anyway, let's just get some names because um, we've got a couple of new faces to the table. What's your name? Holly. And. Kweku. Was it? Kweku. Kweku. Yeah. And we've got Fasal, we've got Sophia, what was it again? Vishanika. Vishanika, and we've got Charlie and Caleb and Mikey. Um, so basically, I don't know if, it, if you've picked up on what we're roughly talking about. It's kind of up to you what direction we go with it. So we don't have to necessarily go in this direction. But there's, I, you know, where we sort of left off was talking about this idea about spiritual growth, which I thought was interesting, what that actually means. Because you said young people don't know their worth. I don't know if you agree with that. Do you agree with that? I think they're worth. You think they do? Yeah. 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 They need to believe in themselves. But do they believe in themselves? No. Nah. Okay. So I don't they, think. I don't think because yeah. um, the other communities. Yeah. 
they, they believe in ourselves, but in this community, nobody believes in okay, us. Okay, so there's a question of self-belief a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Believing religions, believing yeah. one of others' work and help but each other. Does others. that give self-belief if you believe in the religion? Yes. Okay. No, so you need to believe like you can do... That you need to be capable of doing yeah. this and you can be capable of doing that. So you don't need to be influenced by others to be doing knife crimes and all of this yeah. gang stuff. Do you stuff. agree with this question about self-belief then? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Like you need to you need to believe in yourself to yeah. take steps to where you want to be. For example, if I have a future, I want to, for my future, I want to go, I want to become a nurse or something. Yeah. So I need to take step by step to believe yeah. myself and, and believe think that you can do I'm it. capable of doing yeah. it. So I need to... Take okay. steps. So the self-belief is important. Come and come and sit down. Come and get involved in this. That goes out to everybody. At the moment we're talking about self-belief. Maybe this is a good way to improve your self-belief by getting involved in Tokyoki. Is it some more self-belief or self-worth? What do you think on this side? Self-worthy. Self-worth, you say, yeah? I'll say self-belief as well. Yeah. Because like, you know what not to do, what's right and what's not wrong. So yeah. You have a choice to make yeah. whether you want to do it or not. I mean, is there a way to actually enhance young people's self-belief or self-worth? Um, kind of. Like, it depends on what you do, like, what yeah. you do for yourself. Yeah. Like, for, for me, I'm not in, like, you have to, there's always a choice when, whenever you're doing something, in yeah. life as well, especially. So life's all about choices. Yeah. And if you, do you, if you make the right choices, you get more self-worth? Yeah. Because especially when it, like, yeah. crime, for example, crime. Yeah. Some people make the wrong decisions about crime, yeah. so it, leads, it gets them into bad situations. But, but I mean, is there a way to come back from that once you've made one wrong decision? Can um, you come back from it? Kind of, it depends. Like, you, yeah, you, you, can, you can correct me on the Yeah. Like she said. You say, I understand, and let me just bring Ali. What do you think about this question of self worth, young people? Um, there's a lot of young people that don't believe in themselves yeah. because of the pressure of exams and. Yeah. Um, having the pressure of needing to go into work and because the workplace yeah. and everything is getting um, more difficult they need higher um, everyone's looking for higher like education yeah um like requirements so people are feeling the pressure but if they yeah. believe in themselves and they've got then like can, a family yeah. background and friend yeah. background that can help them to support yeah. them they so can become um uh, who they want to be and as long as they believe in themselves and yeah. they've got other people to believe in them yeah. then they can do what what they're capable of I guess so I guess just to sort of like rephrase that so the pressure can be good if you've got the support to actually deal with it but if you don't then that pressure can actually chip away at your sense of self-worth yeah. and self-belief but maybe maybe our family can help it maybe Actually, I had a family in France, but yeah. I had one of the people who passed away. Yeah. It was it was my uncle, yeah. so he's not here. But yeah. I feel really upset about someone that really does mean to me, and yeah. they are not here. I'd be really upset about that. Okay, so your family is very, very important to you, and yeah. the support that comes from the family. Yeah. Is it? I think that you, um, everybody should be so helped out. Like for example. Yeah. Family and like other people around you su should support the youth yeah. to yeah. become better. Are they not doing that enough? Do you think? Or I don't they think they're doing, doing that enough. Yeah. So yeah. how do we get more support for the young people? Get them to grow their self worth. Is there a way of doing it? There, is there something easy way, or is it going to be hard? Or what do people think? Caleb, any ideas? Let's bring the mayor to college. That's it. Yep. Which what, the, what, the mayor? Mayor of the borough or the yeah, mayor of the mayor of the borough. Okay, bring the mayor to the college. Yeah, to okay. start off with small things and then yeah. you can build what would them. What you say to him if he was, is it him or her? I have no idea. Yeah, who is the mayor? Does anyone know who the mayor, is there a mayor of Brent? Who, who is the mayor? Don't we know one actually knows? Rick, Rick, what? It's every year. It's a, yeah. a councillor and right. they change it every year. Right, okay. Um, but I don't know who the current one is. But I mean, okay, well, if we did bring the mayor to the college, what would you say to. What, what, oh, he comes in every. Yeah. Uh, probably twice during during their tenure. They come in. The, the yeah. last so mayor was come, here for yeah. our student awards yeah. in um, July. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they come in and they take part in celebrating student achievements yeah. and so on. Do and they, they talk come in to visits. the young people and get ideas from them? Do you think? No, 
Not not generally uh, yeah. when they're in for the uh, for the events because they're in for yeah. a specific thing. It's a bit um, more glam. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we'd we'd love them to kind of come yeah. in and just kind of walk around classrooms yeah. during the day, but yeah. no, um, yeah. I. I uh, councillors have done that, but yeah. um, and the mayor has been in for our skills day yeah. um, in the past. So okay. then they do get the chance to come so see what goes on in the college. They do come. Maybe we can need to get them to be a bit more excited about what's going on here. What would you say to them, mayor? There is a maid to come with to see us, so and you want to we the maid to come down. yeah, and she can help us. If she doesn't help us, we're gonna get struggle for the whole time. Yeah. And then yeah. you can't you can't fight for it, and then we can't blame Theresa May because she can blame us. For okay, so we, we need to basically like believe in. I mean, what do people think, Mayor Theresa May? What would you say to them? I think it starts in the homes. Yeah because you teach your children in the home what's right what's wrong because once they leave the house they choose who they want to befriend so when they know because your friends will influence your life so when they know yeah. who to befriend they'll be fine you know so i guess everything just starts in the home so you think it's more about the home you don't, what do you think about this mayor thing uh well okay the mayor can come and you know yeah. advise the children and tell them this and that yeah but then i don't think it's going to be yeah, it's not going you to be much. You don't think the mayor would be much different. So, and then what do people think on this side? What's the so we're talking about? How do young people get more self-belief, more self-worth? And what's the way to do it? How do we support young people more? Is it through the mayor? Is it through families? It's through Is, the families. We need yeah. our family to come together and help each other's word. And maybe they have to watch which side they have to go with it. And they yeah. they need help. Sometimes my family struggles. Sometimes I have to be there with yeah. them. Okay. And I help them as well. So start from the basics and yeah. then... then should, we, should it be families coming in here more then? Communicating, not? like, because we're all a community yeah. here, so we should yeah. all work together. So actually maybe more the community should come in here. We should just offer services, you know, yeah. to teach families, um, yeah. to teach families, educate yeah. families about this issue. Yeah. Self-love it, self-love, yeah. you know, um, self-belief. Um, self-valuing and stuff like that yeah right so you could actually rather than bring the mayor in maybe you could bring the whole families in or families of families into this college I come and come and sit down come and get involved in this you are warmly invited yes you can bring your pastry whatever it is um, um, I got a family in France but yeah. they they wanted to come to London so much. Yeah. They really miss us, but right. we all like to help each other's word yeah, to be so there. Fam families are really, really important. And maybe, so rather than bring the mayor in, bring families in, bring many families in, would that Maybe we should celebrate to come in with yeah. us and help each yeah. other's word, okay. what, yeah. what a trust is. What, what, Quaker, have you got a view on this? I'll say the family as well. Yeah. Your family know you better than anyone. Yeah. I so mean, do you think there should be more stuff for families in the college, like bring families in? What would bring them in as well? Um, I don't know about the family coming in, but in terms of, yeah, like, how would you get them to be more supportive or get them to be able to? I'm um, like the talk to them, to talk to your family, tell them your struggles, tell yeah. them what's wrong, what's, yeah. what's going on. So that actually needs to be a bit more communication yeah, a bit within more the commu family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a bit more yeah. communication. Yeah. Yeah. Ali, have you got? A I think like our fam, like some of our families don't understand like yeah. how old, like because our parents are older, they've they obviously don't been. They understand they don't, the view yeah, of the young people. Yeah, they don't know like the pressure of yeah. work as well. Like yeah. we we're in college from like nine till four and then we've got to go we've got to go home and then uh, we've got to do work as well but, uh, so, so but we've they also don't necessarily understand that pressure and that yeah they struggle. don't like they try they try to be open but i don't think they understand like how much work we actually have to do but then we also want we also want to be involved mm. in like mm. sporting activity because like i play football yeah and like currently i'm I'm in college now. I'll have to go home, go to work, and then I'm going straight to football. Right. So and then by the time I get day. yeah, so by the time I get home, it's like ten o'clock, and yeah. I'm exhausted. And then I don't get time to speak to my parents because they're they're probably already in bed for work tomorrow. So right. Okay. So there's a lot of hectic stuff going on. Parents are busy. You're busy. My sister doesn't understand that. What is about ending bully? I got bullied as well in right. in somewhat 
maybe in your primary school, right. maybe in your in your area, maybe so in your. So, question about bullying as well. Is that something maybe you need to be able to talk to your family about a bit? I told the, I told my mom about yeah. all of this stuff, and she came to my my school and she helped me out, and she yeah. is right. the so one it person. For, it worked for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And we've got all of these other kind of. Like lectures and all that for youth, but yeah. I don't think it would help youths to become be better. Yeah. So I think like we should do like activities, some type of stuff that youth will be interested in. Because yeah. I can tell right now that I don't think youth will be interested in lectures and youth yeah. clubs. Cause so what I mean, what would actually work then as a way to give these young people more self belief? More like movement kind of stuff. So some, something yeah, actually physical. Yeah, stuff. physical stuff. Yeah. And they'll they'll start interacting with each other. Yeah. They'll build up. Yeah. They'll become friends. Yeah. All of that would happen if, yeah. if like. We don't want. We don't want yeah. fight. We what don't about, want. We yeah. don't want. I don't like fighting. What about actually. some kind of like combined choreography or something like that? Like a bit like I'm thinking yeah. now that kind of like North Korean style, you know, get a thousand young people all kind of doing the... Rick, can you visualise one of those for us? As a kind of, you know, like a combined movement activity. No, uh, so. You don't think that would work? No, it wouldn't work. No? 100%. Yeah. It's well, just no, just, I mean, just straight what, up going no. Going back to Sophia's question, I mean, that I'm sort of re-spinning it. Still no. You don't think, it <laughs> this, you don't think the movement thing no. is? No. Okay. That, that's just no. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just be a bad idea. It's you just it'll make violence outside. Okay, so you don't think this movement it, activity... Each other, you'll become more confident, you'll speak to other people. Yeah. yeah, okay. But okay, well, let's, uh, okay, so you, I'm, I'm going to say, let's, okay, the, all these ideas, let's just get this straight. All these ideas are good, be it the kind of couch potato video game idea where you don't leave the house or this very active physical one. I think they're all good ideas and we can get something from all of them. Um, but let's find out, you know, what the issue, what do you think the problem with the, with, with the movement thing is? The, and the outsider, you think I it's don't a have a problem violence? with the movement. I don't. Oh, well, you just don't think it's a good idea, or you I just, do. I, I just think of the other what other people think. Yeah. I don't think it's a good idea. You think people wouldn't be that interested? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be that interested. Okay. Some okay, 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 okay. So Charlie, what about dancing generally? Are you against all dancing or just some kinds of dancing? Is it? Is it the? Yeah. I don't what do, okay. Well, let's find out. What do people think? And this goes out to people widely. And then, what do you think about dancing as an idea? Wait, 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 Lucy, sorry, Lucy, Lucy. What do people think? We're dancing. Is are we dancing enough in Brent? Could we do some combined dancing? Could it? Would it be more like that? Yeah. I only dance in in birthday function, but okay. I can't dance at home because my family's by my side, though. Right. You, I'm you'll just, be embarrassed. Yeah, I'll be embarrassed okay. straight away. I mean, could we be doing more dancing yes, around here? You're saying yes, Caleb, yeah. Yeah. Just this guy over here, look. Which the, guy? The one with the white headphones. He can dance. Okay. All right. That's okay. Fun. Can we get involved with this? Can I have a seat? Uh, uh, look, just look, give look, us a couple of minutes. Um, we need your ideas. We need your flow as well. And just sit around the table. Just get involved in this. We need the government to help us. Actually, we are struggling now. But yeah. if what about helping us to dance? Maybe if we need a dance teacher, maybe. Okay, it looks like, are you sh two shaping off to exit? If you are, give us a final thought. Um, I think is yeah. that youth should be like, yeah. everyone's supposed to help like the youth, because we're in yeah. Brent, we're a community yeah. here, we're different, we've, we're, like, everybody's unique, we've got different backgrounds, like, we should all help each other, we should all be doing yeah. teamwork to help youth become better. Yeah. But one thing, I, I don't think that video games would help you. Yeah to become better because I feel like it will just influence you to do more violent stuff. Okay, and what For about example, the dance Call of Duty. idea? Dance idea, I feel like 50-50. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. it will help you interact yeah. with others. Yeah. I want to make my family upset. You think your family would get upset with it? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let me just get a final thought from the song. I don't know what's the solution to this, but yeah. I do know yeah. that um, the youth needs to know what's important. They need to know their purpose in life, they need to know what they should be doing and what they should not be doing. Yeah. Um, and I do believe that it starts in the home, but how we get there, I do not yeah. have much knowledge of. Well, I mean, the thing is, you know, everyone, we've all got a bit of the, I believe this anyway, we've all got a piece of the jigsaw puzzle, and if we can all come together and fit this together, we can actually come up with a good idea. I'm looking so, for a job, though. I can't find a job, but I'm having the difficult days and doing uh, finding a job, and yeah. it's, it's really like, my mum asked me, did you find your job? I'm like, yeah. no. Does that happen every day? Yeah, it happens every day to right. me, and 
I can't even tell my family the truth, the words. Okay, so there also something maybe there about the uh, how you communicate, Caleb. What were you gonna thing. say? To start off, it's just start off with a small thing. Just get, like build it up. Yeah. Like it starts from home, so then yeah. like they can tell you what's right to wrong, and that's yeah. it really. Okay, so grow it slowly. Okay, we need some new faces around. The oh, hang on a sec. Where did Quagu go? He's run off without giving a final thought. Ali, let me get. You didn't escape as easily. Get, let me mm -hmm. get a final thought from you. Um, I just believe that if yeah. like. People like if um, like students like us that are working yeah. like um, we're in college like full time. We we need like people to be behind us and just yeah. More like support. yeah, because yeah. if some people don't believe in themselves, then yeah, and um, we should have people at, like college and at home to help us like with um to help like help us believe who we are and like if somebody can't find their self belief then people like we should have yeah. people to Where's that support help gonna find? come from? I don't know. Okay, so that once again, you know, maybe someone else will have that part of that answer but we need to how do we come and help us because yeah. we sometimes we yeah. all help each other but sometimes we get hard times yeah okay so we definitely need more help and support that's for sure i don't know if this we're reaching a natural break moment um but let's maybe just get a final thought charlie have you got a final thought okay yeah caleb give us a final sit down sit down what do i say sit there as well because then you could be better you get we'll get your profile on camera that way yeah. profile oh no no i don't want that yeah no, not that. okay all right, right, right okay right sit there then yeah. Well, what's the topic? Well, no, I mean, we're just closing this down. You've been probably listening to most of this conversation. Have you heard anything that's been surprising, interesting? That's just um, the community can be united at once yeah. to spring together. Yeah. And what's the best way of doing it, do you think? Just to, just to bring, like, do activities together. Like yeah. Anything, really. Yeah, just anything, but just just more like like formal feels yeah, so yeah, sports like being yeah. together like okay yeah uh, shout out to Kamal as well yeah okay all right big shout out to Kamal okay sing together and help each other's up and yeah. maybe we can singing ask can someone to come here and help us to be singing yeah or yeah. work together as well yeah okay so yep who maybe what one of the famous. Or singers. Who would you who would you bring if it was up to you? I would say Nick Jonas. Nick Jones. Yeah. Who's that? It's from the Jonas Brothers. Okay, right. Um, we'll try and visualise that for you. Um, any other final final thought? Oh, we're just about to close down for a break, but give us a final thought. I know you've only just arrived. Mm -hmm. Have you been listening to the conversation? What's your name? My name is Mary Madrahim. Yeah. Hang I'm on a sec, I'm trying to speak. Was it? My name is Miriam Abdurrahim. Yeah. I'm from Yemen. Yeah. Have you been listening to what we've been saying about the about Brent and about culture and all that kind of stuff? About the college? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're doing with a different course and different skills. We just do that. And I mean, what, one of the things we've been talking about is this question of support. Do you think young people have got enough support and self-worth? Yeah. Yeah, they they need that actually. Yeah. yeah. And how how could they get more support? Because support the teacher can learn everything. You can learn about new words. Yeah. And can help you for that everything. But spelling, whatever you want. So we're here to help you. Okay. And we've got another new face to say, what's your name? Hi, my name's Roy Crowsdale. Can I just call you Roy, is that right? That's fine, yeah. I mean we were just about to break down, but suddenly we've had just one or two people come through. Uh, maybe I should just quickly sort of like recap. Um, on where we asked, well, the whole uh, morning's conversation, because it's, it's basically we started this. It's all we're, this has all been about Brent. Could Brent be the London Borough of Culture? What has Brent got that other boroughs don't have? And a lot has been about this question of harmony, this diversity, but in a good way, supportiveness. But also, we talked about the young people need more support. Um, are we doing enough actually to? you know, to, to work with the kind of the world famous things that are in the borough, such as Wembley Stadium, the sporting achievements, the celebrities, are they actually putting enough into the community? And then most recently, well, we, well then we talked about Brent, the video game. Um, would it be a social game? Would it be a violent game? 
Um, and then most recently we talked about kind of like self-worth, young people's self-worth. Have they got their self-worth and what's going to give it to them? Um, how do we support young people more? And that's where we are right now. We were just about to close down. I don't know if you've got any views on any of those things. I, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm really embarrassed. I've just realised I've left my, my laptop computer in somebody's office. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm anxious to get back to it. But, yeah, that's... Brent is diverse. Brent has a growing young population. Brent has a history and a cultural history of um, being yeah. looked upon as being a very diverse place, but people tend to be in silos. People yeah. do not, yeah. and it's a national issue. But I mean, is, I mean it, the, the, the feeling I've got from young people here today is the kind of opposite of that, that there's a lot more mixing now. Do you think the younger people are mixing more? Well, it, it, there's... We have a we have an equality act, don't we? Yeah. And we have nine protected characteristics. Young people mis mix for, for for lots of lots of reasons, like like uh, cultural trends, like food. There's 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 a there's a Muslim culture, and there's also a, yeah. a lot of other people yeah. who uh, mix because of their uh, their their gender and, and and so on and so on. So yes there'll always be a divide between young people mm. elder people and those people yeah. who are new and in coming to our culture yeah. so we have a lot of new people who've been yeah. coming into our culture over the last since the last census yeah. and that is our new population and the my question is how are we embracing them how are yeah. we working yeah. with them yeah. because I, um do you think I'm, we're not doing it enough we're not we're not because, I mean, the, one of the big questions has been about support and people We're left to our support. own devices. Yeah. I think we are, and I think a lot of people do not have access to broadband and to social yeah. media as we like to think they do, because yeah. a lot of people, we tend yeah. to rely on apps and, bro and yeah. computers, yeah. and we, we, so there's a sec section of our population that isn't included. Yeah. Access to further education, for instance, we have to have loans. There's, there's lots, yeah. of, lots of people who are outside of all of that. Yeah. So, there is so in a way, it's more of an inclusive inclusivity for the new people coming in making them feel welcome fit having access to facilities resources yes everything we have issues such as British values for instance yeah. where we are encourage people to understand how yeah. uh, cultures work outside of our national boundaries yeah. and how our economy works and and there's a lot mm. of things that we need to learn but yeah. we need to learn them in practice yeah so we're, we're all incredibly busy in Brent we have a very yeah. unique history in Brent um, we through the 80s coming up to yeah. 2017 we have had lots of disorder in London yeah. we've had riots yeah. and things yeah. like that Brent has not participated in any of that yeah. Brent has been those who yeah. have wanted to go through the proper channels to to, yeah. to resolve our yeah. issues well it's certainly something we've got a feeling of is a harmonious harmoniousness yes. in Brent but I mean, have you got one? Any questions for Roy before? Yeah, we I guess like it's sort of interesting that you say that um, Brent is a borough where people live in silos, but um, this college feels like a community. I mean, is that can can both of those things be true? Yeah, um, you've got a captive audience in a college, and I think a community will be about differences in terms of our multi-faith community coming together and working together and living together. Diversity can look diverse from the outside, but when you really yeah. look at people in their everyday lives, they neither have the time or they, and they do, they do operate in silos because we have a very distinctive Hindu community, Muslim community, and it's not uh, dislocated or detached from what's happening globally as well. So we have global issues and troubles. I, I, I have to say, happening on an international f platform, yeah. and we and they and they do not translate or not expressed in the borough itself so that we share and find solutions together so we're not working together in in lots of ways that we need to improve working together right across the spectrum of our multi-faith our multi-economies and we in brent have affluence in the north and we have a lot of uh deprivation in the south and those there's a big divide like you would find in the uk yeah. in 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 the microcosm of our borough as well right, okay so in a way, I mean, you could even say that it's like a sort of microcosm of the UK. Yes. That it's got everything, yes. everything a bit more. Uh, any well, final... F well, I guess that there are like two ways that you can, you can do the borough of culture. You can either go, right, we've got loads of different communities. We're going to sort of create a big table and then allocate like different 
different seats at that table according to the proportions of those communities in yeah. the borough. Or otherwise you can go, we're going to create things like the Tokioki table, um, which yeah, uh, can yeah. carry out the sort of, which have the yeah. potential to sort of bridge them. And, and you sort of program in that way. And it's like, as someone who sounds yeah. like you've possibly lived and worked here for a lot of your life, you know it well. Which do you think is the is the best way to use that money? Is it sort of doing stuff where everyone's kind of got their portion? Yeah, of would it, you like give like ten percent to the ten percent to the Muslims, ten percent to the Hindus, ten percent to the? It's wishful Caribbean, thinking. To yeah. I don't think it's polarised in the way that you've just described because it's always going to be incredibly difficult to to represent every community in our borough. There's, I think, over 200 languages spoken in our borough, and some of the m committees that I sit on, you can't possibly represent everyone. And it, if we try to represent it in the way that you've described, mm. then someone is, you're not going to please everybody all the time, you're not going to get uh, yeah. the sample all the time, or you're not going to get... Does it, I think Charlie's question is, does it need to be representative, or should it be something a bit more kind of fused and sort of like a kind of hybrid of all those different... Why, well, let, we, let's try and measure, measure both of those at the same time. You can have the drop-in type of representation, yeah. and you can have the people who are let's say elected for want of a better term in terms of local government, in terms of your councillors, in terms of your young people's ambassadors and the people who are there. But at the same time you need to be continuously recruiting and recognising the needs yeah. of everybody from the data that you share. So, the, the, so when we get all this information in, often some of it we redact and we don't share it and or we uh, share it to suit the particular agenda that we might have. So in our borough we've got issues around housing, we've got issues around education, we've got issues around the way in which we're selling property and land for instance and a lot of people are up in arms thinking that they're not being consulted yeah. so some of the cons consultations that we have like this platform now I think it's great to have people coming in and talking and speaking to these issues but the problem that we have with most of it is that the platform itself has an agenda so people sometimes yeah. find that difficult to come yeah, with so, and not everyone can deal with all the different you know, I mean, even this Tokyoki, different cultures deal with it in different ways. So, you know, we're very big in certain cultures, not as big in other cultures. And that's the same with any platform, because people have got different ways also of making decisions as well. So in a way, I guess I'm going to re reduce that down, Roy, to one word, which is both. Both. both yeah. Um, anyway, it's, it's time. We're just about to have a break. So any final, final thoughts before we... Close this then. We'll be back this afternoon if anyone's yeah, been yeah, listening. Thank you for what you're, 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 you're doing and that you're, you're bringing people together to, to talk. And whatever you do, try to cycle themes because yeah. if you've got themes, then yeah. I, I don't know, perhaps a theme would be a better way of yeah. um, getting. What, I mean, to, what themes would you suggest? Well, we're, we're in a college, so curriculum would be one that would be if, ask people if they're interested yeah. if the curriculum actually represents what their yeah. needs are yeah. ask people if they could uh, talk about what those things are if whether it's ec ec economic yeah. whether it's um, academic or vocational that's a that's a, an interesting question then I then I suppose safety would be another one because yeah. young people yeah. need to feel safe not just in further education but on the streets, yeah. going home, that's a big issue as well. And of course, the things around social media and yeah. the use of social media. Yeah. Those are just some themes. Yeah. I could give you hundreds of themes. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's good. That's three for now. Um, we'll deal with some of that this afternoon. Charlie, final, 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 final th thoughts before we go for some lunch? No. Okay, so thanks to Fabio on camera and Rick that's been visualising some of the conversations. This is... Um, this comes from actually from la the other Tokioki that we did in Wembley. A lot of people didn't know they were in Brent. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people from that visit Wembley don't even know they're in Brent. They they just think they're they don't even think about it to be honest. Thanks, uh, thanks for me. But thank you, Roy. I hope hopefully your laptop's still there. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, and we will continue to visualise. Thanks to Rick who's behind the screen beavering away there but I guess it's lunchtime now but we'll, we'll be back later. <laughs>